Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports, Coach and Trailer Sales, Paducah, Kentucky. Check out all the details, over 150 photos with a full description at chasecoach.com. Today I've got a 2020 Renegade Verona. This is the 36 VSB model. Uh, you're probably, if you watch our channel, follow our channel, you're probably thinking, man, this guy literally just done a video on this coach last week. Well, actually, no, this is a different coach. Uh, we just got this one in. It is almost a twin to the last one. Uh, a few less miles, a few different um, options on the interior, but literally when they were sitting in our shop, uh, we put a Facebook post up on our Chase Motorsports Coach and Trailer Facebook and uh, said, seeing like double vision, you know, because it looked like identical twins uh, sitting beside each other. But anyways, let's get to business here. 2020 Renegade Verona 36 VSB. So 36 foot overall length, uh, 350 horsepower Cummins. Uh, it's got the L9 in it, uh, which is a great engine combination with the six speed Allison automatic. So you can pretty much tow whatever you want to with this guy. 20,000 pound hitch, uh, 100 gallons of fuel, great tires, only 17,000 original miles on it. All right, so we'll row through the compartments. Uh, first one here on the driver's side is gonna be our battery compartment. We've got the engine batteries on the left and then the AGM. I think there's three of them total there for the house side on the right. Uh, next one over is the Aquahot 250D. So this coach is uh, hydronic heating and hot water system. So it heats off of electricity or diesel fuel. It is an all electric coach with no propane. The next two bays are gonna be sewage bays. One's the black, one's the gray, both 75 gallons a piece. And then the bay here in front of the left rear tire is going to be the water bay. So we've got our whole house water filter, our black and gray tank drains. We've got our valve there that uh, chooses city water or tank fill. And then you can see the hose is up in here. So what you do, pull this out, connect to the faucet at your house or your shop or the campground. And then you just turn the pressure on and then choose city fill or tank fill. So and then when you're done, you press this button and the hose electronically pulls back up. You'll see the black tank flush there to your right, cable connection, uh, low point drain, and a pressurized water spigot. So that's that bay. Uh, down there you've got your exhaust tip for the engine to the right, and then the aqua hot uh, diesel burner exhaust tip on the left. The generator, it's as new as the coach is. 8,000 watt on-in diesel generator with 80 hours, yeah. 80 hours, so like new as well. Back here in the very left rear compartment, you've got the automatic transfer switch and you've got the uh, shore power cord, which is powered. Full body paint, super, super nice condition. Uh, it's wired with the seven way plug here on the left. It's got the Voyager camera plug. So if you've got a trailer with a camera on the back of it, uh, you can easily plug in 20,000 pound hitch. It's also got the quick connect for if you're uh, pulling a toad and you've got uh, like one of the uh, Air Force One or you know a braking system like that, it's already plumbed and ready to go. Two slides, one is we uh, just saw on the driver's side, one back here in the bedroom on the passenger side. And then on the compartments, attention to detail with this previous owner. So not only are the compartments lined with like an indoor outdoor carpet, look at that. There's more carpet. So the previous owner, extremely OCD. Uh, the coach shows that inside and out. And just little things like the carpet mats. I mean, they're worried about if they put something in there, possibly damaging or staining the factory carpet. So, you know, I mean, what is this? Three, four dollars at Home Depot. It's very cheap and just good safety, okay? So lots of storage on this side, a little compartment there on the right rear, another one here. On up so that this is number three. I mean, in that storage compartment, four and a half foot wide, probably. And then another one. Okay, you can see our hitch. We got a hitch there. Slides into the three inch receiver. Again, 20,000 pound hitch on this one. Uh, it comes with the uh, adapter there that's a two and five sixteenths on one side and then a two inch on the other. Uh, this last compartment is storage and it also has the Magnum Energy, uh, I think it's a 2800 or 3000 watt inverter. So, Oh, bankrupt on Wheel of Fortune. How about that? All right, so uh, Gerard patio awning, and we also keep the outdoor coolers. 
uh, the sliding tray outdoor grills too. So we're putting a lot of grills. Now you ask, well, how do you grill if there's no propane on the coach? Well, great question. Uh, we have to put in a like a 20 pound um, grill bottle like you would have on a grill at your house, or you can run the little green spin on bottles that you know, you've seen that come on like a little portable grill or whatever. So a couple options there, but uh, we do keep all that in stock and you've got plenty of storage on this if you wanted to add one or both or, or whatever. So dual 50 gallon fuel tanks, one under the driver's door and then one here under the passenger door. Keyless entry on the coach, of course, electric steps. The inside folks is just as clean as the outside. So we'll start out with the um, front and or the seats here. Air ride, they do swivel. So if you check out the photos on our website, I had them spun around. Uh, you've also got the privacy curtain. It goes all the way around the cab for full privacy at night. Some overhead cabinets up here above the cab as well. This one's got the automatic leveling and your inverter switch in it. Over here, you've got your DVD player. It is wired for in-motion satellite, so if you get a direct TV box, it would go up in there. You can see the coax cable for that. Um, comes with all of the factory owner's manuals, touch-up paint, both sets of original keys, everything right here, all in one. So, uh, again, very simple to drive. Air ride seats, very comfortable. Six-speed Allison automatic with that 350 horse Cummins. Garmin in-dash navigation with a Fusion audio system. Uh, again, everything right there at your fingertips. So this coach sleeps six. You've got a sofa behind the driver's seat that does turn into a queen bed. You've also got a dinette. The center table leaf drops down, sleeps two more people. So you got two up there, two here, and then a king size bed back there. So enough for six, very comfortable. Uh, some nice storage over here in the slide. Uh, day and night shades. Don't want to forget those. So you got the um, the day shade, and then you pull this one down. They're spring loaded. Just pull down and kind of bump them there one time, and they're in. Um, over here on the passenger side, we have a Samsung uh, smart TV with a Samsung soundbar. Very nice, simple, and it's also on a swivel mount, so you can see it locks against the wall back there. But you can move it. Um, I had it positioned out for the photos. I've got it set up kind of how I think it would be if you were, you know, at a campground or stop for the night or whatever. A uh, little kitchen area here, nice size sink, big sink, big single bowl or single basin, excuse me. Uh, two burner, true induction cooktop, microwave convection oven. Again, looks brand new. I don't know that they ever used it. The manual's in there. Um, it's got the multiplex system, so you can uh, check your tank levels, turn the water pump on, turn your aqua hot on, look at your battery levels. You can see the generator again, 80 hours, run your lights, see your electricity, thermostats, fans, slides, all that's right there. Easy to access. Um, nice cabinets in the kitchen. Uh, down here is where all your breakers are at. Your 12 volt systems in there. The pantry's got a little some slides that come out, so. Very neat. Lots of storage for a small coach. Lots of storage. Uh, residential Samsung fridge. Again, looks brand new. Very clean. Nice. Works good. Um, then you got the pull-out freezer here on the bottom. Whoop, I didn't do the latch. All right. Yep. It does have a built-in ice maker. It's turned off right now, but that is an option that you can turn on. Um, as we make our way back to the bathroom, it is a mid-bath, so you have these sliding pocket doors. Uh, they've got magnets that hold them in the, I guess, open position, you would say. So as you open it up and you'll kind of watch it here, you'll hear it right there, the magnets grab. So really neat idea by Renegade. I think they put that's, or they started putting those into coaches a few years back. Um, back here, you've got a dryer on the top. So it's already got the splendid washer and dryer. And then um, so dryer on top washing machine here on the bottom and again we do put those in and we do remove them so if you didn't have a need for it and wanted the storage we can help you remove them and still give them to you we'll just get them out of there nice and neat a uh, little vanity bath area nice cabinets little overhead uh, medicine cabinet up above the bathroom vanity 
And we'll spin around here on the passenger side. We've got our commode. Uh, it is one of the Tecma electric flush toilets. And then we've got a fiberglass one-piece shower um, with the overhead skylight, glass door. As you can see, very easy to get in. So I'm gonna step in here. Again, I'm six foot three. A lot of people go, they'll call and ask about the shower. So I've got a solid uh, eight to 10 inches over the top of my head and I've got plenty of room to move around in here. So to answer your question on the shower, plenty of room there. And then to the master bedroom. So we have a um, king size bed. And then across, we've got lots of cabinets, a little wardrobe area, another Samsung TV. There's also your own DVD player back here. And if you do the uh, direct TV in motion, you can actually put your own receiver back here. So you're not watching the same thing that the person up front is watching. So very neat. Again, more cabinetry back here. Uh, some rods to hang some clothes. Um, I believe that covers everything. You do have a pocket door that separates the uh, bedroom from the bathroom. Um, the flooring, the plank flooring, and it runs all the way through the bedroom. So let me turn back around. You'll see sometimes they do carpet in the bedroom, but you got flooring all the way through. Uh, under the bed, you got 150 gallons of fresh water, uh, 17,000 miles, uh, one owner. Got a clear title in hand too. So titles in hand. Give me a call with any questions. We'll throw the website up there on the screen. Check out all the photos. Over 150 photos posted in a line of this one. And uh, trades accepted. We deliver nationwide. I appreciate you watching. Uh, if there's any questions you have or if you have interest in this coach, uh, we do deliver nationwide. We uh, have some good financing options. We accept trades and would love to earn your business. I would love to sell you this coach. Uh, if you feel like this is uh, something that you're interested in, please give me a call. Have a great day.